Hi, my name is Mark Joseph, and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And here's five more things you need to know about child support in Florida. Before we begin, please feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. You'll find on our channel a previous video that I've made about five things you should know about child support in Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about child support in Florida during these unprecedented times. Child support is still happening. Although there's been a lot of difficulties with, for people financially during these times, child support is still an enforceable obligation. It should be noted that a lot of the enforcement agencies have been a lot more gracious within the time periods and the requirements for providing child support. However, if you are currently subject to a child support order, you are still required to comply with that order. Modifications are still possible. We have a couple of videos on our channel where we discuss modifications as its own subject. And I have also another video that discusses the fact that final hearings are still happening in the state of Florida just via Zoom. That being said, if you would qualify for a modification of child support, this is still something you can file. Keep in mind that one of the standards to modify child support is that the substantial change of your financial circumstance does have to be permanent in nature. Given everything that's happening, there is a significant question on whether or not any financial changes or unemployment is permanent in nature or otherwise temporary. So keep that in mind when deciding to go this route. Abatement of child support is still possible. During these times, there's been a lot of furloughs, layoffs, or otherwise difficult situations and changes that has happened to everybody's employment. If these situations has changed the way or the ability that you have to pay child support, you do have an option. You can consider filing for an abatement of your child support. What that is, you're asking the court to basically pause the enforcement of child support. What the courts could typically do is look at your financial situation, look at the circumstances. Obviously, the other party can decide to agree to that or not and decide whether your child support should be completely abated or partially abated. But make sure that if you're going to take this position, that it is done in what is called good faith. So in other words, you're not just doing it just to take a couple of months off on child support, but you legitimately have had your financial situation change, at least on a temporary basis, in which you being required to pay child support would be a very difficult or impossible task. What you can pay, obviously, would vary between person and person. However, make that good faith effort to make at least a significant portion of that child support payment. It's looked at much more favorably with any of the enforcement agencies, the judge, and honestly, the other parent. We all understand that so much has happened in these past few months and will continue to happen. However, the effort that you put in to be as current as possible on your obligation would look much more favorably in court versus just not doing or paying anything. One final thing to keep in mind is that we're in this together. Obviously, this time has affected all of us. And the court system is definitely understanding of that. The enforcement agencies are aware of that. So that being said, if you are having difficulty paying your child support obligation, or if you're owed child support, please take into consideration if whether or not part of the reason why these issues are happening is because of the times that we're in. And if you need that additional time, be honest, reach out. Obviously, you have the options to abate and modify, but in reaching out to these agencies, to the other parents, it would allow you much more leeway in operating your situation. A lot of the Florida agencies responsible with dealing with child support have been a lot more supportive 
during these times. They've been a little bit more gracious within deadlines. They've allowed people periods of time to respond to them or communicate with them. However, you want to make sure you're doing everything that you can as promptly as possible. Because even though they're being generous in these circumstances, there's still some legal deadlines. You definitely want to make sure you understand these things. And all things considered, these times, if possible, you definitely want to consider consulting with an attorney. An attorney that specializes or has heavy experience in family law can help you navigate much of this and makes this a much less stressful situation than it needs to be. So if you or someone you know are dealing with child support during these difficult times, feel free to like and share this video. And if you need additional help, please feel free to contact our office. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.